What would you do if you were invited to work on a project in a foreign country, in a part of the world you have never been before, with people you don't know, in a place where you don't speak the language? Would you take the leap of faith and go? My answer was yes in 2014 when I was headhunted to be a choreographer and creative director for Qatar National Day. I was one of four choreographers whose task was to interweave our own creativity with Qatari history, culture, and traditions, to design a concept that bridged the past with a vision for where the country was headed in the future, and then portray this in a mass movement performance which was televised and attended by the Qatari royal family. We each had to work with children from two schools. It wasn't easy to teach seven to nine-year-old kids who had never danced before to move in a synchronized way to music and be coordinated as a group in a country where technically dance is forbidden. In fact, we had to use the word movement to describe what we were doing. To say the least, it was an extraordinary experience, one I will never forget. Both of my schools were selected from the eight participating schools to perform also in the opening ceremony of the 2015 World Men's Handball Championship in Doha directed by the David Adkins Enterprises, the world-famous producer of Olympic opening ceremonies. Needless to say, I am so proud of my little dancers. The experience taught me that when your heart tells you to take the leap of faith, say yes.